What's up, everybody? We're back today. We're going to rip some stuff. We're going to have a little fun. Rip some Mosaic Basketball 2021 and Prism 21-22. But before we get into that, you know, let's just have a little chat and a little convo. What do you guys think about what's going on in the hobby right now? You know, all the issues and the drama, stuff like that. You know, you got people faking boxes at the National... You got people all complaining about product placement and how the products are being released by certain companies. You know, just, I mean, me personally, I think that the the whole, you know, finagling with the cards and stuff, putting together Frankenstein boxes of uh, really super high-end products is just, that's just like distasteful. It's very, very bad for whatever companies did that. You know, it's just not, it's not a, it's not okay business. It's not good business practice. It's just, I don't know. It's crazy that people would even do that. But, you know, I guess everybody wants to make some money. So they got to figure out ways to sell the products, even if they have them already opened. But from what I've seen on Sports Card Radio, and you know watched on there dude seems like he's got it on point like they maybe took like an old set and just repackaged it a couple of them and repackaged them and then put them in a box and said it was a complete box but yeah how damaged were those cards how looked through were those cards if they were a complete set in a complete set box and not in you know individual wrappers from the get those cards could be completely damaged. So you basically, you know, gave away a bunch of free cards on whatnot. And they were already all used, damaged, looked through, touched, fingered. You know, it's just, it's it's very, very, very sad that this happened. I'm not sitting here going to say that whatnot knew what was going on. Because they probably didn't know either. They probably got wamboozled into paying i think they paid one hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars for that box which is you know about the average for those boxes that are going right now but to know that that box that you paid one hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars for really is just a made-up box that was put together and not actually made by the manufacturer yeah i'd, I'd be a little upset so you know but <clears throat> Everybody has their own opinion. I'd like to hear everybody else's opinions on these issues because it, it's it's really troubling to know that there's people out there that actually do this type of stuff. And we're all just trying to have fun and enjoy the hobby. And people are just so enamored on making money. That's all they care about. You know, and I'm just here because I want to have fun and rip some cards. I don't care about no freaking money. I spend money on the cards just to have fun. So, you know, and if it's cool, it's cool, though, if you hit something nice and you do make a little money, yeah, that's awesome. But I'm not sitting here trying to. I'm not trying to push nothing on you guys or make you guys, you know, spend your money. I'm actually trying to help y'all save money by, you know, opening cards so you guys can see what the products look like. And, you know, but to each his own. Everybody has their own niche and wants to do their own thing. And, I mean, more power to them. But, uh... You know, toss me a like, share, sub, whatnot. So keep it going and have fun with these videos. And let's pop open some mosaic basketball from last year. Let's see what we can get. A little older product, but figured why not. Let's see what we can uh, pull out of a nice little box of mosaic basketball. Got eight packs, right? Yeah, eight packs. So, but yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see what you guys have to say about the whole, just the drama that's going on right now in the hobby. <clears throat> Got Luca, Cam Reddish, Jerry West, Kawhi, Finals MVP. You know, and then with all the delays and stuff in the uh, baseball card market, 
And you guys think about that, like uh, tops and announcing that they're going to have some delays on their product releases for 2022. Tyler Horn Tucker. You know, it's just, I get it. I understand why. Because, I mean, you got to remember this company's transitioning from being owned by Tops Bazooka to now being owned by Fanatics. So there's going to be a transition period where we're going to have a little, you know, something happen where cards aren't going to come out as fast, you know, because they got to catch up and they got to make the transition and switch the people in. They had, they had to do all that. So there's going to be a point where we're going to, you know, not get some cards just for a little bit. And then they're going to start booming again. So I can understand why they're not giving up the cards. And and there's also the possibility of them trying to put better rookies in the sets that are coming. Because they know that, you know, all these good rookies like Julio Rodriguez and Bobby Witt and Spencer Torkelson. They weren't in the product probably. Now they're probably trying to force them in before they release it. So we got Curry Dang. Which is understandable, because, you know, we want all the good players in the product. I mean, I don't want <laughs> I don't want Julio Rodriguez in Update Chrome. I'd rather have him in Chrome. So. Nice. There he is. Anthony Edwards. That's a good one. I actually think I need this for my complete set. And I think it's the last card I needed. It sure is. So, that'll do that. I'll take that. I have like 13 Anthony Edwards parallels rookies, but not one base rookie from Mosaic. Derek White. Julius Randle. Peyton Pritchard. And Karis LeVert. All right. Three packs left of the mosaic. Yeah, I mean, it, another thing that was funny about this whole Nationals weekend, too, that, I, that really got me was all these guys opening all these packs, you know? And they were all opening all these silver packs and these gold packs. And you'd watch some of these big influencers open some of these silver packs, and they're hitting auto, 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 auto. And then all of a sudden, you watch... Just a normal YouTuber, not a super high influencer, not a, you know, doesn't have a super amount of subs, but he bought, you know, some packs from either a dealer or just somebody on the, uh, on eBay or something. And they are opening their silver packs and it's paper, 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 not a single auto, not a single foil card. It's pretty sad. People are sick, man. And if, if, if there's distributors doing that and they're weighing up packs, be ashamed of yourselves. Like, real talk. Any distributing company, if you guys are using scales to weigh up packs, you should be ashamed of yourself. James Wiseman. There we go. That's a nice one. Let's take a Wiseman. Uh, where do my sleeves go? over there. That's a good one. Why can't I get it in there? There it goes. <laughs> All right. Two packs of the mosaic left. There's been a Wiseman box and a little Anthony Edwards to sprinkle on top. I got Jokic. Kevin Knox, Patrick Williams, and a Giannis Elevate. That's nice too. Because it's green, color match. So then Bucks. All right. Last pack of the Momo. And then we're on to the Prism. Davis Bertans. Robert Covington, Aneke Kongwu, and another James Wiseman. I told you it was the James Wiseman box. It really was. 
Like I hit three James Wiseman's. Alright. So not bad. Not bad at all. That was actually a very good mosaic box compared to most of the ones I've opened in the past. It's been a minute since I opened a mosaic blaster actually, but here we go with some prism from this year. Hoping for a Kaminga. You know me. I love me some some warriors. So. All right. We got six packs here. Let's have a little fun here. No big hits yet, but we've had some fun. I mean, well, technically, we could put these up there. Let's put these up there. Let's give let's give Mosaic some representation. These are the best hits out of the Mosaic box. So, only reason I didn't get top loader is because that's going in my complete set. All right, Paul Millsap. Okay, Emmanuel quickly. Josh Giddy. And Denver Nuggets. Mmm, joke it. That's a good uh cracked ice. The MVPZ. And a Josh Giddy rookie. I'll take that. Definitely. Alright, so one pack down, not looking too bad so far. Harrison Barnes, Kyle Anderson, Jason Kidd, and the dominance of Anthony Davis. Three, four, what, three packs, out of four packs. Is? Yeah, four packs. Aaron Naismith, Ingles, GP, and Moses Moody, emergent. My dubs. Alright. Patrick Beverly. Tyler Horton. Marcus Zawartski. Atlanta. Not a rookie. John Collins. Alright, two packs to go. Uh, Theo, Jason Preston, and a Damian Lillard dominance. Alright, last pack. Should be a cracked ice in here, so hopefully it's a rookie. It'd be nice. Whoa, no cracked ice, so we got shorted. Wow. Dang. Miles McBride and uh, Darion Sharp. That's, did we get shorted? Did I get three? One? I yeah, one. One cracked ice here. And one cracked ice here. Oh, I got shorted a cracked ice. That sucks. Well. That's not cool. So be on the lookout for that. You can get shorted cracked ices in boxes you pay $35 for at Walmart. It's crazy. <laughs> well, they'll be getting an email from me. That's unacceptable. You don't. And they didn't get a... Dang, yeah. Every box is supposed to have a green and three cracked ices. I didn't get a green... Or three or my purple pulsar that was supposed to be in the box. Every box I've opened, I've opened 15 boxes of this product. And every one had three cracked ices, a green, and a purple pulsar. Or a purple wave, should I say. 
And yeah. So that's weird. Though this box did have one, two, three, four rookies in it compared to it's never I've never seen four rookies plus two emergents. I haven't seen a box like that yet. Usually they only have three rookies. And one emergent. So that was a weird box. But anyways, until next time. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And we'll be uh, back again next time to talk about some more products. And, you know, just to chat and just have fun and rip some cards, you know. So, till then, peace.